I don't remember watching much of the TV show. We're gonna go up to story mode. New game. Yes. By performing this ritual now, I'll gain control of the temple's power without having to duel! What? Too soon. Too soon. You fool. Only the winner of the sacred tournament is gifted with control over these portals. You've destabilized the temple. You know, you need to be more aggressive. <laughs> no, I mean it. You play it too safe. Why were we told to meet here? You each have been selected for your unique abilities. There is something important that you must accomplish. A great task has been set before you. Do we get to duel? Yes. But first, I must see if you are ready. Wait, there was a TV series, right? Uh, yeah, we'll go through this tutorial. I don't remember playing much of the game. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Okay. I know I did collect some of the, the cards. It wasn't as big as Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. As a duelist, you'll face opponents in the battle zone, casting powerful spells and summoning deadly creatures to punch through the protective shields. You'll duel these opponents with your own custom deck of 40 cards, each drawing power from one of the five civilizations. Fire, water, nature, darkness, and light. Destroy your opponent's shields and you can make a final attack to win the duel. But only those who learn from defeat, as well as victory, can become true Kaijudo masters. Besides standard mode, you can also play a screaming real-time version of Duel Masters called Extreme Mode. In Extreme Mode, you gotta think fast because every move is timed. To summon creatures and cast spells, you need mana. Each turn you can add one card to create this mana. The more mana you have, the more creatures and spells you can summon and cast. Nuresta needs your help dueling Knight. On his first turn, he needs to add a card to his mana best add cards that cost too much to play. The Deathblade Beetle is a good choice because it costs 5 mana and Rusty can't afford that yet. Use the arrow keys to find the Deathblade Beetle in Rusty's hand and press S X to select it. Oh. Deathblade Beetle. I'm gonna go add to mana. That little yellow dot means Rusty now has one mana to spin. It's okay to spin all your mana each turn because you'll get it back your next turn. Okay, so this is kind of just uh, over the weekend. Or no, I was like on a mini vacation because uh, 
my cousin came over to stay and I couldn't uh, focus too closely to stream actually because we were busy watching a bunch of Netflix series. The big green dot shows that Rusty's unlocking nature mana. By having at least one nature card in his mana zone, Rusty can now summon and cast nature cards. Okay. When you can't perform any more actions, your turn will end automatically. Outside the tutorial, you can end your turn anytime by pressing circle. During that time, I was playing a bunch of more gacha games. I downloaded like a bunch of stuff on Bluestacks. And one of them was, which I haven't really gotten too comfortable yet with playing, has been Shadowverse. And I kind of noticed that it's a little bit the same as this. Battle-wise, but I, I don't fully recall how to play this game. Each turn, players draw one new card from their deck. However, the first player in a duel doesn't draw a card until their second turn. On Knight's turn, he draws a card and turns Lok, the Leisure of Hunting, into mana. It costs four mana to summon, and since Knight has no mana yet, he decides to add it to his mana zone. Rusty's turn, and this time he gets to draw a card. After drawing a card, Rusty should add another card to his mana zone so he can afford to play other cards. Okay. Aqua Shooter. We're gonna sacrifice that one. Phantom Burning Mane. There we go. Okay, we've unlocked Nature and Water. We can now play both cards. Before you can play a card, you need to check its mana cost. This number shows how much mana you need to play it. If these little dots are green, then you have enough mana to play the selected card. If they're red, then you still need more. Just like Saddleverse. A duelist's first goal is to destroy their opponent's shield. These blue rectangles show how many shields each player has. Normally, each starts with five, but sometimes new shields can be created. Shields are actually cards drawn from your deck at the start of the duel. When a shield is broken, that card is sent to its owner's hands. So, even when you lose a shield, you gain a card. For Rusty's next turn, use what you've learned and add his aqua shooter to the mana zone. Then summon his phantom fish to the battle zone. Okay, no, it said uh, Aqua Shooter to the Mana Zone. That gives us one more summoning thing. And the Phantom Fish. <laughs> now you're gonna learn to command your creatures in the Battle Zone. Press Square to switch from Rusty Sand to the Battle Zone. When you select the creature in the battle zone, a menu shows any targets it can attack. Right now, the menu only shows player, which in this case is knight. Go ahead and select the player option to command Rusty's burning lane to attack knight. Since he can't stop the attack, one of his shields will be destroyed. Four more of Knight's shields need to be broken before Rusty can make his final attack and win the duel. However, it's not always that easy.
Okay, which is what the phantom fish has right now. Okay, so it just does it automatically. The battle animation is so nostalgic. You can even block attackers that are more powerful than your blocker. Your blocker will lose the battle, but will stop the attacker this turn. Blockers can also block when they have summoning sickness. Alright. When a creature is destroyed, it's normally sent to its owner's graveyard. However, some spells and creatures can bring them back to life. Like creatures, to cast a spell, you need at least one card in your mana zone to be from the same civilization, in addition to having enough mana to cast them. For Rusty's next turn, add his burning main to the mana zone and select the spiral gate spell on his hand. We have enough. Oh, speaking of which, oh, this card has no special rules. this to the mana zone and then ooh, we almost have enough so let's go ahead and use our spiral gate the rules for spiral gate explain that when you cast it you get to pick one creature in the battle zone and return it to its owner's hand getting rid of knight's blocker will clear the way for rusty's burning main to attack so select the emerald grass option as the target for rusty's spell now switch to the battle zone. This turn, Knight's going to put a stone Asaurus into the mana zone and summon Lok, Vigiler of Hunting, to the battle zone. Okay. Many cards have special rules that tell you how they're played. To make the most of your cards, you must become familiar with their rules. Deathblade Beetle is such a card. A power attacker and double breaker. It gains extra power when attacking and destroying two shields each time. It attacks successfully. Okay. Basically a powerhouse. Rusty currently has four mana to spin. Add his aqua shooter card. So he'll have five mana. Right. Aqua shooter. Add to mana. And now we can summon. For now, let's pretend Rusty doesn't attack Knight this turn, so you can learn about tapped creatures. After a creature attacks or blocks, it's too tired to do anything until the next turn. We call these creatures tapped, and they're easier for others to attack. This turn, Knight will summon a Stonosaurus and attack Rusty, destroying a shield. Normally, Rusty could block Knight's attack with this phantom fish, but let's pretend he doesn't so we can see a tap creature.
creatures appear with a blue Z's rising from them and stars circling their base. On the next turn, this effect wears off and the creature is ready for action. Like blocking, when other creatures attacks another that's tapped, the one with the highest power wins the battle. This turn, summon another Deathblade Beetle. I'm gonna switch from Rusty Sand to the Battle Sand. Okay. Deathblade Beetle, 3,000 power plus 4,000. Power attacker bonuses usually sends knights locally. Okay, yes, we get that. Now use Rusty's Burning Rain to attack knights again. With only two shields left, things don't look good for Knight at this point in the duel. But this is a tutorial. <laughs> what do you expect? However, this turn Knight will summon two Emerald Grass Blockers and an Immortal Boron to the battle zone. Then Knight will attack Rusty with his Stonosaurus. Again, we'll pretend Rusty doesn't block this time, so you can see a Thunder Shield trigger. When a shield is destroyed, a shield trigger may be revealed. Shield triggers are broken shields being returned to their owner's hand, which can be played at no cost. Okay, we can return one creature to its owner's hand. When Rusty's shield was destroyed, it revealed a spiral gate spell. When a shield trigger is revealed, its owner can use it immediately for no mana. It doesn't have summoning sickness or add it to their hand and use it later at normal mana cost. Press X to use Rusty Spiral Bait Shield Trigger. Alright, Emerald Grass Blocker, okay. Uh, does it matter which one? They both have Summoning Sickness. has no shields left, you must make I'm gonna move my horn out the way. Make a final attack to win the duel. With each duel you can walk further upon the narrow path to Kaijudo Masters. Okay. Now cast Spiral Gate on Knight's remaining emerald glass. This will clear the way for Rusty's creature to destroy more of Knight's shields. Next, summon a burning main and attack knights with one of Rusty's Deathblade beetles. Okay.
finally attack Knight one last time with Rusty's other Deathblade Beetle to win the duel. Early 2000 Jetix vibes. Yay, I made it past the tutorial! Oh god, that took 21 minutes. The loading screens are nice. Okay, so, um, I'll probably s stop the video here just so that I could go over it and make sure the audio is fine. I want to make sure the audio is fine before I actually start streaming it. I think I'll probably play for like another hour if the audio is fine in case I need to adjust it. Just simply recording it. And then I'll go back and we'll see about doing an actual live stream of the game. Hmm.